Dark Souls Arch Thrones is a mod that feels both familiar and fresh. It tugs at my nostalgia, resting its core premise on the framework of Dark Souls 3, but at the same time, mixing this together with elements taken from Sekiro, Elden Ring, Bloodborne, and completely new elements created from scratch. We have new bosses to kill, areas to explore, and weapons to use. And a combat system that any Souls fan will be instantly familiar with, yet it has evolved, infused with the added depth that comes from years of experience with other Souls games. Hello everyone, I'm lost. And I know that this is just a demo, but if you can't already tell, I am loving this. Arch Thrones feels very much like a love letter from Souls fans to Souls fans. And as of right now, I am two hours into the demo, which is kind of crazy considering I have only explored one out of the five areas that are open to us. So ladies and gentlemen, please, metaphorically, take my hand and let me guide you through my experience with Dark Souls Arch Thrones. Hello everyone, I'm lost and finally I got my hands on the demo version of Dark Souls Arch Thrones. This is a mod that I've been looking forward to for such a long time. I love Dark Souls 3. It is one of my favorite games of all time and quite frankly, no joke, the game changed my life. Without Dark Souls 3, I would not be in the position I am now as a YouTube content creator, and I have so much gratitude towards that game. And now that we have a mod that is basically trying to be Dark Souls 4, or let's say Dark Souls 3.8, so to speak, then I am definitely going to give that a go. So join me as we delve deep into the Dark Souls Arch Throne demo. All right, a quick cut there. I did some diddling on my character. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. And I created a face. This is my pale man. I wonder how many of you get that reference. I know a lot of you came to me through Elden Ring, but I've been doing this for a long time. Now, let's take a quick look at the classes. We have our knight, that's classic. He has low int, faith and luck, but he has high strength and high vigor. The fugitive is the thief class, although that weapon looks way bigger than your standard dagger. Although it makes sense that it would be a broken weapon. The duelist, oh, he looks cool. That's our rapier guy. Probably high dex, yeah, very high dex. We have a scholar. <laughs> that looks, uh... That hat's gonna be a meme. The pyromancer, classic, just what I expected really. The priest, also what I expected, but it reminds me a lot of the Dark Souls 1 priests, and I love that bong stick. Makes me feel things. The outcast, oh, that's cool. Yeah, oh, I like that. Oh shit, unfortunately he has the most amount of luck, and if luck is the same here as it was in Dark Souls 3, then luck is a basic bitch stat, so probably not gonna go with him, not for the first run at least. Then we have a hunter, oh he looks cool, love the hat, I hated the look of the hunter in Dark Souls 1, and this looks really badass, yeah, this is great. Crestfallen, oh... Oh, this is fascinating. The Crestfallen has a lot of vigor. He has a lot of endurance and vitality. Strength and dex is 12 and 7 in int faith luck. This is also a very good starting character, I want to say. And then we have the classic Deprived. That's the, uh... That's the hard mode character. With all of that being said, I do think I'm leaning towards the Duelist or the... Or the Knight. I'm gonna give it to the knight, I think. Yeah, I'll give it to the knight. Classic starter. 
as far as the starting gift is concerned, I don't know. I'm just gonna go with a... Sovereign Soul? Yeah, Sovereignless Soul. Let's go with that. Just a little extra to level up our character once we get into the game. Finalized creation. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, we're in! Oh, I've been waiting for this for such a long time. Now, this reminds me a lot of Demon Souls. This first corridor that you had to go through, the outpost, and the classic. Look! The tutorial is written on the ground! We don't need a tutorial. I'm too much of a badass. So we'll just go straight for our first enemy. Hi there, buddy! You are going to be my first victim! <laughs> Now, there is one thing I do know about this game, is that it has a perfect block system. It's a way to reward you from... Are you? Are you okay there? No, no he's not. He's a little aggressive. It's a way for reward your perfect block. As you can see, the mo... The moment I block his attack, there's a little burst of light and if you hit the heavy attack just as that burst of light appears you'll do a Elden Ring God counter. That's a pretty nice system and I think it's a nice way of rewarding you. Parry. Do we have parry? We do have parry. <laughs> okay, uh... Parry? Yes! I did it! First try, baby! Oh, I'm so good! <laughs> I'm so good! Oh, I see you there. Oh, what kind of goodie have you guys hidden? <laughs> you know what? I expected as much. Are you a real person? Yes, you are. Not anymore, but still. Maybe something is here. No. You are not real. should be careful. I shouldn't just walk into rooms. There's an ambush waiting around every corner. Interesting that we got alluring skulls here, though. I wonder if that can be used on a specific enemy later on. And that's our backstab, right? Change weapons. That's gotta be the backstab tutorial. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Ugh! I would teabag you, but this is not Elden Ring. And that's the boss, of course it is. But first, you have to turn around. Whenever you enter a room, you have to turn around. Because there are treasures everywhere. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I heard a little growl. Do I have anything that I can use to kind of boost me? Uh... No. No, I don't see anything. Okay. Let's go. Oh, look at you! You are big and chunky! That's a really cool model. And that is the classic Asylum Demon starter boss. Oh boy, okay. That was, that was close. I feel like that was very close. How much damage would this do? 88. Pretty good. But- Oh, shite! Okay, can I- How much does that heal? Is that going to be enough? I don't know if that's going to be enough. I'm going to pray that it's enough. I'm going to probably have to stick on his ass there. Okay, a charge attack seems to be better than a weapon art. Charge attack it is. We can do two of them. Oh! Okay, so he doesn't have any legs anymore. I hope he doesn't sue me. Ah, oh, crap. Lost piece of health. Oh, no! Because I'm very afraid of... St 
standing. No! Well. Wakey, wakey, sleepyhead. Come on now. Get your ass up. A little dying shouldn't keep you down. Yeah, I'm also very curious. Where are we? Where are we right now? Huh. Looks like an armory. Well, I hope they don't ma mind if I just destroy some of their uh, stuff here, because maybe there's treasure in these things. I mean, there are weapons and stuff on the wall, but I'm mostly interested in the treasure. None of that. Nor her knight, Aegon. Interesting. That's... That's a Dark Souls 3 reference. Also, is it just me, or does this man look Amish? What can I buy from you? I can buy a Saint's Ring that allows attunement of additional spells. I can buy the Talisman, of course, but I don't have the faith to use this. I'm not a very faithy boy at the moment. Uh, what type of miracles do we have? Heal, heal, replenishment, caressing tears, homeward, and create shockwave. Uh, pretty standard stuff, I suppose. I would talk Farewell, to you more, but I don't want to. That's the door. And people have already died. We'll go this way. Oh, hi there. Who are you? No, no. I see no dark within you. I have no need for you. You see no dark within me? You should check out my YouTube channel. This is a nice room. I like that he has his own room. And you know what? If I were trapped in a place like this... I don't know if he's trapped, but I, am, I assume so. Then being trapped in a room with all of these books would probably be a blessing, as far as being trapped is concerned. Fine. I kind of assume that this area is the, uh, is the Nexus or the Phylic Shrine or whatever this is. But people have already died! There goes nothing. So I've seen this place in the trailers, right? But my god, look at it. Doesn't it look beautiful? Oh, I didn't know, but the sky is completely blue. That's something that you take so much for granted in Dark Souls and most other From Software games, but the, a blue, clean sky gives you such a feeling of peace. And the music is fantastic as well. I know that the music is all original. They commissioned some great pieces. So, let's uh, talk to this guy. He reminds me of Stockpile Thomas from uh, Demon Souls. You have the, you have the chest behind him and the other stuff. You know, maybe I wonder if I could kill him and take what's behind him. Not that I'm going to do that, but that's the first thought I had, which kind of disproves the guy that we talked to earlier that I have no darkness in me. <laughs> I don't recall seeing you before. I just arrived, boyo. Yeah. The name is Thomas. Ha! <laughs> I'm certainly no stranger. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, stockpile Thomas. That's a big Command wink and nod to Demon to Souls. I'd be glad to lend you my services. If you have any baggage in need of storage, allow me to ease your burden. Okay. Mr. Shirt, your goods are safe and sound with me. There's not much else I'm good for, I'm afraid. <laughs> cool. So this seems to be our storage. Does that mean that we have item weight load? Let's take a look. Souls, equip load, poise. No. Item weight load was a feature of Demon Souls. I don't think it's here, no. In Demon Souls, if you had too many items on you, you would fat walk, which was incredibly annoying. However, 
Yeah, I think he's just a physical representation of your bottomless box. Cool. Ooh, item. Ashen flask. And the emissary helm. Ooh, and the emissary blade. Cool. So this is basically the trailer knight. Let's walk up here so we have a little bit more room, shall we? Yeah, okay. We we uh we have to wear these. Yeah, that's that's way cooler. Can I can I continue to fast roll? Yes, I can. That's good. Cause now I look badass. Everybody's gonna wear this though, but since I got at early access, baby, I'm gonna wear this and I am the original knight. Now I also got another weapon, the emissary blade. Is this better than the other one? So this does 126. Let's see. Can I use the both? No, I'm fat rolling now. Alright. But we do... Alright, this does thrust attacks. This has that little run. Oh, is this the broadsword? Yeah, yeah, this is the broadsword. I prefer this one then. Even though it does a little less damage, that move is better. And if I remember correctly, I read that you can attack while also... Yeah, okay, so that makes a lot of sense. This might have been a little overpowered in PvP. Maybe, depending on how they um, balance it. Not that there is PvP in this game, though. But since this is co-op only, this works fine. I also think that we can dual wield in this game, can we? Yes! <laughs> okay, that is so cool. Do we have a running attack with that? We do. They just take took this from Elden Ring. That's pretty badass. I do want to keep my shield, though. And I also want to have, not the broadsword, but the emissary blade. Alright. What are you? Examine. The throne is shattered with many small cracks. Huh. Well, this seems very important. I wonder if... Well, the game is called Arch Thrones, so do we have to... beat all of these levels and gather pieces of the throne so we can then sit on it? Maybe. Before we talk to the lady, I want to go and see what we have up here. It's a closed door. That's locked. This is Homeward Bow. No, that's going to be nice. Can I do something funky here? This is up top. No. Jump! <laughs> oh! Hey, is that a door? It might be a door. This seemed like the final boss door. Honestly. Yeah, we gather the throne. We sit on the throne. We open the door. Boom. Boss area. Maybe. I don't know. Excuse me. That's the lady, but I also saw... Here we go. Andre, you know what I really like about this area so far? I think this hub looks way better than the original one from Dark Souls 3. Hell, I think it looks better than the Elden Ring hub, although that's not difficult. The Bloodborne hub, the Dark Souls 2 hub... The only hub I think beats this so far would be the actual Nexus from Demon Souls. Demon Souls Nexus is a little bit more barren, but it's also a much more somber place. This one seems to have... This one seems to have an element of peace to it. At any rate. Oh, yeah, before we talk to her. Let's... We were going to talk to Andre. Sorry, Andre, I was a little bit more focused. Hey, buddy! Well, you must be a new arrival. And they used the same voice. Pretty good. So at him, we can reinforce weapons. 
We need two, then four, then six. Pretty classic. Dark Souls 3 style upgrade system, which is nice. We have infused weapons. Can we infuse anything? We can already infuse a whole ton of stuff, but it doesn't seem like we have any of these. Oh, we could have a blessed gem and a blessed weapon will restore HP. So we will keep that in mind. But that also will give me more faith scaling. Yeah. Transpose weapons. I don't know what that means. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that is boss weapons. But I don't know. Repair equipment. We don't need that. Yeah. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Don't worry, man. I got you back. So, darling. You and me. Ooh. Oh, no. Are you wearing shoes? Oh, she's wearing shoes. I'm gonna talk to the to the developers here. Maybe we can... Maybe we can make, like, a special version of the game where she doesn't have any shoes on. Welcome to the Nexus, Lost Soul. I am a firekeeper. I tend to the flame and tend to thee. The arch thrones require a great many souls, so that the linking of the fire may commence it. If thou wouldst become an emissary of the thrones, then take this. Coiled sword. Last soul. Produce the coiled sword at the bonfire, with the seal of the nexus upon thee. The arch thrones will allow travel to other worlds. Cool. Already I have... I arrived five minutes ago and already I'm simping for the w women. Here we go. That wasn't too difficult. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, you, you assholes! You absolute assholes! Oh, God. Okay. I can now travel. Access from behind the arch thrones. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is classic Demon's Hall's way of doing things. And that looks beautiful. Look at that. So I will admit, even though this is my first time really playing this mod, I do have a little bit of knowledge about it. These different arch thrones is what will take us to the different worlds. And normally you would assume that the easiest ones to begin with would be the ones at the very bottom. But that's not the case here. I'm not gonna reveal which one is the most difficult, but the recommended beginner area would be the one at the top there. But that's not where I'm going. Because I'm a pro gamer, right? I am a Souls veteran. So where I'm going to go is my... Favorite area from the trailer. I want to go to the desert. And I... I, I really want to explore a completely new place. I think it's this. This seems like a deserty thing. Because that's, that's a forest. And that right there, that seems like a castle. And then... I don't know what's over there by the Yorm statue, but if I were to guess, I would think that the developers took the profane capital and expanded upon that. And, uh, well, if that's... that's... Gwyn or Gwyndolin, maybe that's a castle too, or maybe that's Hyde. I'm not entirely certain. But we are going over here to what I assume to be the desert. Oh shit! <laughs> it seems like they have um, the sandworm here. I assume this place to be Carthus. Oh, look at that. Look at that guy. He's doing some things. Are you nice? Are you a nice guy? I'm assuming not, right? Hey. Hey, are we. No, we're not friends. We are not friends, apparently. Also, the damage that he takes kind of sort of indicates that we aren't exactly in... What the... What the hell did I just do? 
Oh crap, this is not the right weapon. I thought I had stance. I didn't check out what this weapon did. As far as, uh... As, as far as Ash of War goes. What do you do? Emissary's Oath. What is that? Raise the sword aloft to reaffirm your resolve in carrying out the emissary's prescribed duty. Restores HP. Oh, I got a heal? And raw fire crystals. Raw fire crystals. Um, increase fire attack when mixed in a flask. Oh, so we have a bit of the Elden Ring crafting system here. I hope it's easier and simple than in Elden Ring. How much shelf do we get? Oh, not that. A fair amount of health, actually. Ooh, there's a woman there. I love women! Darling! <laughs> Talk to me! Well, well. Oh, it's a well, well person. <sighs> she gave us a pyromancy flame. That's very As nice. For your lessons, you know the price. Sex? What was that monster? That's what we talk, uh, saw earlier. Why are you here? Let's just see what she has. Yellow bug pellets. That's all. Temporarily boost lightning damage absorption. That's interesting. She might... That might mean something. Are people here more likely to use lightning? Learn pyromancies. Ooh, classic pyromancy. So this is our first merchant. Cool. Will you join me over at the Nexus later, darling? Because I like to have all of my ladies in one place, if you know what I mean. That's probably not a great way to... Uh, to convince you, is it? Whatever. Farewell. Sorry, darling. I'm gonna sit here by the bonfire, get my juice back. And we get the rest. Now that guy looks interesting. Let's go and say hi to him. Hi, buddy. You and me. You look completely new. Whoa. Cool. Also, you can <laughs> you can take a hit, I see. Okay. Uh, he can also do damage. I can do that, though. Is this shield 100% physical? Yes, it is. And I also have a fair amount of defense here, or... Uh, I can take a lot of... Oh, boy. I can take a lot of hits on my shield. That has hyper armor. That's cool. Oh, come on. He's almost dead. Almost. <laughs> come on. That was a fire attack. Oh, my face. Hit. We got him. Did you drop anything? He doesn't drop anything, but he did give us 320 souls. I don't know if that was worth it. There are a ton of items on the ground here. And we can deal with him. What's that? Are you nice? Oh no, you are not. At least we can kill one of those bug creatures with one hit. And we got a flask. And there are items here. Oh my god, this is the new Souls game to explore. You turn around and there's stuff everywhere. Also, Titanite Shot. Also, item. Black Firebomb. Four of them. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna go and sit back down by the bonfire. And let's see how much... We can't level up here. But what we can do is we can allot our Estus. So I can now have a little extra heal. Okay, I'll get rid of that and then sit down by the... Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. He's back alive again. That's absolutely fine. We are going to go over here and kind of 
ignore people. Ow. Okay. I need to worry a little bit about those guys, because their hitbox, I think, was pretty big. I am lost! Pest control! Oh, there it is. We'll leave him. Whatever he's doing, he's he doesn't need us interrupting him. We'll uh, leave him as well. I'm not too worried about... So I would be able to defeat him, I think. Right, I think. But it would take a while, so we'll just ignore that. Ooh, is that some kind of tree? Oh shit, no, that moves. That moves. That is not a tree. Oh, but we can handle him, though. Even though with our fairly basic weapons. We'll do a little hit and run. As in, we hit him, and then we run away. <laughs> or we run towards him, and then we hit him again. Ooh, okay. Wait a minute. Wait, what was that? So we run, we attack, and then the move after that is a... Huh. That's a stab. A nice mix-up. That's super good. Because if you hit the person, they will move backwards a little bit. Oh, another Titan at shot. That's gonna be good. Didn't I get, like, a big soul? Yes, I did. I did have some big souls. Oh boy, okay, we'll... We'll move around, I think. That's fine. Oh, I see you. Come here! Oh! I was right. You can't kill me if I have my shield up! <laughs> what a little bitch! <laughs> Is that the guy we killed? No. No, it's not. We'll kill that guy as well then. Just, just because I can, right? Just because I can. Bang. Uh. Uh. Oh, well that was a bad choice. Didn't do too much damage, but he did he, he did some bleed potential. So we'll keep that in mind. Is this something? Is this something hidden around? No, no. No, there is not. Can I move on top of this? I cannot. There is something over there, I believe. Yeah. But we'll wait until we get a bomb. Because I have a feeling I'll just throw bombs into the sky forever. Wait, is that the moon? Oh. That's a lovely day, moon. Oh. Oh, that's a lady. Oh, she looks dangerous, though. She looks... <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll just... We'll just keep away. He's going that way. Hopefully there's nobody in here. Well, there are these things. That's fine. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, you know what? We'll grab that. Oh! Caught his rouge! Bad choice. Okay. Well, now we did it. Now we're in for a thing. So, we'll just take this opportunity to run over and get that. Whatever that is. I wonder how much aggro range they have. Oh, Christ! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, sh... What is that? What is... Ooh, who's shooting at me? Oh, it's a follower! Wait, a follower. This is Karthus. And if I remember correctly, which I definitely don't necessarily do, wasn't Karthus sacked by the Abyss Watchers? And the followers are here. So that means we'll probably get a ton of Abyss Watchers. That is fascinating. I'm gonna grab that. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Oh! Tight net shot! How much? How much damage can I do to you? How much? Well, we'll have to figure it out. Can I... Backstab? That's fair. That's a fair amount of backstab damage. For a... 
Great. Oh! Considering I'm not supposed to be here. God, how many spears does that man have in his back pocket? That still works. You gonna give me something? No. I killed your friend! Your friend is dead. Oh god. I'm so sad this is just a demo. I know that we're getting tons of content here. There's gonna be like five or six hours of content. Followers gloves, fantastic. But... God damn it, man, I want it all. That seems to be where we want to go. I would I would imagine this is the main dungeon of the area. Is that an item? Is that just a guy sitting there? Wait! Oh! I was right! Oh god, okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe the Carthus people... Oh, I hear, I hear, I hear a thing. I hear a guy. Is that an Abyss Watcher? No, that's a follower. His hat just looked a little funky there for a moment. And we do know, we do know we can just... There we go. We can just run away from that guy. I don't want to deal with the, with the woman. She looks really dangerous. Oh, I saved that. Uh, getting hit by a spear is also really dangerous. Come here. Come here, buddy. Wait. Is that... Yeah, that's just uh, that's just him. That's just the spear guy. I was afraid I heard the curved sword dude. No, no. We can deal with the spear guy. Spear guys are easy, I say. When I'm almost dead. He doesn't have any hyper armor whatsoever. So we can just wail on him until he... Sings his last song. There's another dude over there. We have a thousand. That's good. I think as soon as I find a bonfire, I will retreat. Because I want to upgrade my weapon. Uh, we're far enough away from those enemies. They won't be making any noise, will they? No. They're just too afraid. They see me kill this guy, just absolutely decimate him and steal his pants, and none of them, none of them wants to lose their pants. <laughs> Poor guys, though. I wonder if she killed all of them. Then I definitely don't want to mess with her. Another woman. Is that a... Oh, that's a chest. But remember, everybody, this is Dark Souls 3. Remember the chain, okay? A rusted coin. It seems like they really want us to farm for stuff. <laughs> God damn it. Cool. There is a path down there. And there's a chonker there? He looks very chonk. He looks very chonk. Uh, I don't have a lot of health. You know what we'll do? You know what we'll do? I'll run. That's what I'll do. I'll run. I want that item. I want it badly. He's guarding a bell and another item there. First we'll grab this. That's fine. Oh! Oh, we'll run back up here. Nobody, nobody follow me, please! Ooh, a piece of candy. Oh god damn it! Stop it! <laughs> if I <laughs> if I killed myself with three dung pies, I'll be really sad. Okay, we got some we got some of that. Got a tight net shot. And we got some death as well. You know what? You know what? I'm okay with that. That's okay with me. We'll take what we have, we'll return to the Nexus, we'll chat with Andre, we'll go like, Hey dude, I got some of these special stones that I want you to incorporate into my weapon somehow, and he'll be like, Sure dude, I'll make it good and strong for you, and I'll be like, Yeah, and he'll be like, Yeah, and then I just stare at him, stare into his eyes, while my heart swells up, 
four times its size with love. And then I die from a heart attack because that's not normal. Hopefully he didn't hear any of that. Okay, we have two of these. How much is that? That is 4,000. Let's just use all of it, shall we? That's 400. This is probably very standard. I don't remember the amount of souls that we get, but I, I would think that they haven't changed any of that. Ah, it is good to see ye in good health. Yeah, let's just what pretend I didn't die stay. earlier. Reinforce. This is the Emissary's Blade. This is the one we want to use. So, boom. Cool. <laughs> yep. And then I want to talk to you. Welcome back, Emissary. Speak thine heart's desire. My heart's desire is feet! Very well. Oh, she listened! Touch the darkness within me. Take okay. What do we want to do here? From their vessels, do we want to be a strength boy? Five strength despair. gives me seven damage. Five health Treating gives me a lot more health. And defense. Master, I see no reason why I shouldn't just go with these, so yeah. Farewell, emissary. May the thrones guide thee. Thank you very much. Now, I did say that I wanted to go here, but I'm very curious. You know, I'm very curious. I want to go to Yorm. What type of world do you have in store for me? As I said, I think this might be the Profaned capital. I could not be more wrong.